Hello everybody, this is Jacob from Wager Me This, and today I'm doing another Martingale style of video. This is going to be um, using the 4 and 10 this time though, on the buy, the buy 4 and 10. Now this one's a little different, it's not exactly a Martingale, it's more of a progression. And let me explain why this works, how it works, and why this is actually probably better than the don't um, in some ways. Um, number one, you don't have to fade the come out roll or any type of roll where uh, you're giving up 22% of the combinations. Um, you don't have to do that here. So because when you play the four and ten together, there's six ways to win versus the seven has six ways to lose. So, so you're always even as far as probability goes with the four and ten versus the seven. And so, you know... E you're obviously starting with a $5 bet here, so you're probably going to have to be playing at a video machine of some type, whether it's one of those tables or a bubble craps machine. But so right here, level one, you have a $5 bet out there. Now the bubble craps machine is going to uh, buy down to the penny, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to do the VIG correctly. For ours, we're just going to pay 9 to 5 and we'll pay the big as we go. Um, obviously the big doesn't really matter until you get to the $20 level and it starts mattering. All right, so at this point, you play the $5, let's say you lose, all right? So that means you're down $10 and you're on the second level. Well, if you win on either bet, you're gonna win. 10 is gonna pay 20 um, and then you're gonna have to pay a dollar big. So you're gonna win 19 minus and you'll have 10 so you'll make a nine dollar profit so let's go to the third level right if you're at the third level you've lost thirty dollars between both bets but twenty dollars will pay forty minus a dollar for big so you'll have made thirty nine dollars and again on each win guys we're going to regress down to the five dollar level all right so let's say we get to the fifty dollar level at which point you'll have lost 20, 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars. But the $50 level is going to pay 100, which after big is going to pay 98 dollars. So you're going to make 28 dollars. Now, let's say you get all the way to this fifth level, this $100 level. You've now lost 140, 50, 60, 170 dollars. But you're going to pay, you're going to make 200 on a win minus the $5 big. So you're gonna make $195, so it's a $25 profit. So overall, this is obviously not an exact, like Martingale, it's more of a progression, but this is probably going to succeed more often just because you're even on the probabilities and you don't have to fade the come out. You also don't have as much money invest. Remember the one that we showed with the don't, it would, took $405. This one only takes $370 which you know it's, it's it's not like a huge difference but it's it's less obviously so again let's see what happens here but this it's just a progression it's not hard um, by any means all right so let's just start let's put them all down here in order same thing here Put them on the bottom here and again we're just racking all the profit um, and replacing our levels so here we go four and ten buy if you're at a bubble machine uh, or, or any kind of electronic machine and obviously if you have a five dollar craps table they're gonna pay you five to nine or nine to five so that's fine as well all right here we go uh, I'm going to have the box numbers off because that's the way most people play. So here we go coming out. And we got a four. So that's it's not good for us. We would have rather had a winner. And we got a five. Three deuce. And a six. Four, five, six. Three. One, two, three. So all we're looking for here on the five dollar level is just to repeatedly collect. We did not, we rolled a seven. All right, so we got that four at the wrong time. That was kind of crappy. All 
right, we'll move to the ten dollar level. Here we go. Box numbers are off. Ten. Okay. So here we go. We're uh, we're rolling them at the wrong time here. Hopefully we can. Oh, six one seven PSO. But dang it, we've rolled a four and a ten, but they were both on the come out, which is that's somewhat brutal. If that was happening, that would be that would be tough. And that's the argument for working on the come out, right? Especially in an instance like this where you're even on the probability. If we were working on the come out, we would have won twice. Here we go. Box numbers are off. 46. Now, if we would roll two sevens, we would have lost twice. So, I mean, there, there's the argument either way. And a hard six. That's right back. Very nice shot shooter. All right. Box numbers are off again. We got an 11. Yo, yo, yo. Here we go. And a 9. Okay, we're at on the 9. 5, 4, 9. And a 4, 1, 5. We need a 4 or a 10. And we'll make some money. There's aces. And again, we are we're at equal probability to the 7 at this point. Six ways to win, six ways to lose. There we go. Hard four. Hard four. So that's going to win uh, forty dollars, but it's actually going to win thirty-nine because you paid a big. So I'm just going to pay thirty-nine. There's forty. $39. All right, let's rack it all up. Go down to the $5 level. And we're going to replace, um, we're going to put our profits over here, but we're going to replace the levels. So, okay, I was $5 off, but not, I mean, $1 off. And uh, I actually didn't calculate that into this. That's interesting. Okay. Um, but we got it out there, obviously. Yo, 6-5, yo. Nine, that's the point. Good shot shooter. I'd like uh, some winners here. Oh, hard 10 on the come out. Oh, we needed that at a different time. Six, four deuce. And an 11, six, five, yo. Aces. Aces in both places. Very nice. Come on now. Six, three, nine. Four, ten, let's go. Seven out. Okay. No big deal. We'll go to the next level. So obviously, at this point, you could just put this over there. Because we're going up to that $10 level. And you could just run through it five shooters if you wanted. I mean, I guess. All right. Box numbers are off. And there's a three. One, two, three. And a seven. Okay, it's not hurting us here. So that there it goes the other way. And a six. Okay, our point six. Very good. Here we go. We need a four or a ten. There's an eight. A six. That's the point. Good shot shooter. All right, box numbers are off. Nine. Nine is our new point. Six tray. Let's go. It's right back on the nine. Shooter is smoking hot. Ten. Uh oh. Wrong time for that. Six four ten. We needed that a second ago. Three four seven. Dang it. It's brutal when them come on the come out if you're not working. 
it's just brutal because you need those winds to make this work, right? Here we go. And we got a town to come out again. Oh Lord. Plenty of them, plenty of tens and fours rolling, just for some reason they keep hitting that hole. Five four nine. Four one five. Four dude six. Twelve two sixes. Three, one, two, three. Back to back core numbers. That's a good little parlay if you're into that stuff. Twelve, oh, three in a row. You got paid right there. If you're a horn parlayer. And a four, there we go. We'll take that. We're gonna drop this dollar. This will help us out. We're gonna get 40. We're going to take these down to five dollars. We're going to replace our levels. Bang! Just like that. Sitting over here, eight dollars and profit. Here we go. See if we can get some winners. Four one five. Five one six. Six deuce eight. Six six twelve. The hard twelve. It's also the easy twelve. It's the only twelve. Four two six. One two three. So again, the, the, any kind of strategy like this is somewhat of a grind. Five to seven. Um, they are safer strategies because it's hard to lose um, when you're equal, right? Oh, wait, this goes over here. We're going to the $10 level, right? That's right. I messed that up a little bit. It's all right. Here we go. Box numbers are off. We got a six. Point is a six. So yeah, I was supposed to rack that money. Four hard way. Very nice. Okay, so this is gonna pay nine or ten for a dollar. We'll drop a dollar. Get ten. Sorry, twenty. My bad. Twenty. It's late. Ten dollars pays twenty, or it'll pay uh it could pay eighteen if you're having to place. But if you're on one of those machines, it's, it's probably going to pay nineteen forty-two or something like that. And we're acting like we're playing on the bubble crafts machine. All right. We replaced all our stuff. Free bets out there. Looking all right. Oh, wait. Sorry, this is supposed to go over here. I just did that again. That's, that's profit. All right, we just rolled a seven. Five do seven. Sorry, I messed that one all up right there. All right, we're going back to this level, second level. As you can see, we're starting to build profit over there. Here we go, coming out. We got a 12, a lot of 12s coming out of these dice. Seven, six, one. We don't have anything working, so it's not hurting us. And a nine. Okay, we're out on the nine. Again, we need the four or the ten. Seven. Okay, there we go. Knock on. We're going to go to the third level. And again, this works because the even probability of the numbers. 
and that you get paid two to one on the four and ten, there's a five, guys, four, one, five. So you don't have to be as aggressive because you're essentially getting two to one. Three deuce five, right? Point made, good shot shooter. And you're not having to fade the come out, so it's better than the don't in that way. Three, one, four on the come out. We would have rather had that on the winner rule. Oh, hard four, there we go, baby. So that's gonna win. We're going to win 40 again. Let's drop a dollar. Forty. All right, we're going to bring these down to five dollars. And we're going to replace our levels. Rack that 10 bucks. So there we go. Box numbers are off. We got a four again, three fours in a row. It's pretty crazy. Here we go. Five. So again, we're just grinding this out. It's relatively safe. It's hard to lose a bunch of times in a row when you have even probability. Most of the time it's gonna break even. Seven out, four, three. That last roll before the seven guys was an eight. All right, ten dollar level. And we're just gonna repeat this process over and over and over and over. And hopefully bring home some money. There's a four, three, seven, but we're not working, so that doesn't matter. And back to back sevens, five deuce this time. Oh, hit my fan. And a 10, okay, point is 10. So even if we would have been working all of those, we would have just won again. Here we go. And seven, ooh. Go to the $20 level. Here we go. Maybe we can get up to the $50 level and see. I don't know. We'll see what happens. There's the nine, five, four. Here we go. And four, one, five. We need a four or 10 here. Nine, that's the point. Good shot shooter, six, three. All right, here we go. Come out five, we're out on the five. Here we go, looking for a four or a ten. Six, four deuce. Four deuce, six. Nine, six, three. Just like that. Nine again, back to back nines, five, four this time. Six the hard way. Two threes. Uh oh. Ten, there it is. Six, four, ten. Alright, so again, that's going to pay 40 for a dollar. Forty. Let's drop it down to five dollars. There you go. Replace our levels. Rack up the money. Again, we're just profiting. We're not struggling. We haven't hit any $5 winners. And there's a seven. We still haven't. <laughs> Out of the $9 winners, I guess. So back to the $10 level and so on and so forth. I don't think I got to keep showing it. So. There's our original bankroll. What did we make? $15, $35. dollars $35 up to this point. Um, we were never really in any jeopardy. We only ever made it to the third level. We never even hit the green chips. So again, guys, um, this style of play um, is somewhat built for the low roller. Uh, it does take a little bit of guts because if you got laid into 
your rounds that are fourth and fifth round, you'd really have to have the guts to put all that out there um, with this kind of bankroll. But the thought process is the overall of what's going on that you're probably not going to lose on five sevens before you roll a winner four and ten. That, that's the idea behind it because you only have to roll one winner before five losses uh, to start yourself over and to make a little bit of money. So again, guys, this is one of those situations where the game can somewhat be manipulated in your favor if you're willing to take and grind it out. Generally, anytime you can manipulate the game of craps, it somewhat turns into a grind. But if you're willing to stick with it, the, uh, the high likelihood is you're going to be profitable. Um, again, like right here, we made 35 bucks. But if you're thinking about it in the sense that we only have a $370 bankroll, that's almost 10% profit. So think about it in that fashion, that that is nearly a 10% profit. Um, so it's not terrible and we probably could have kept replaying again this is the kind of system that could keep you um, at the table for a long time or at the bubble machine for a long time uh, at the electronic table for a long time you know if you're there just to enjoy yourself you know you should be able to manage this uh, for quite a while so and likely win money but anyways guys thank you for your time this is Jacob from Wagerman This.